again please excuse where i am starting off the vlog i need to go to nordstrom's to go shopping and i need to go to sephora within the mall to exchange an eyebrow pencil because i don't know if you guys can tell but this is slightly the wrong color i'll have this dress linked down below and it's also linked in my amazon storefront so you could always check that like dresses section of my storefront and that is linked there but um yeah that is on the plan or on the agenda for today i hope you guys are having a really good day but let's have some yummy food and do some shopping do you still do that now? huh the ring is so shiny now you have to I love these kinds of shirt dresses. Like a belt in the middle. I like these floral patterns. That dress is so pretty. Orange is really in right now. like bridal dress too for like a bridal shower jeans 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 you know that black credenza you got me this is nice i don't know what this is it's are really cute. I like these loafers. Thank you! Oh, I use like the same thing like all the time. I really love these salads. I rely on these a lot throughout the week. Um, they're just easy. You don't have to think about it and everything is already ready for you. So some of my favorites, it's not the healthiest, but it's delicious. This Cobb salad, so I'm definitely gonna grab one of these. I also really love this Harvest salad with like a Dijon dressing, so good. And there's a few others that I really like. The Southwest salad is another good contender, but I'm just not feeling it this week. Tomato mozzarella is always a good one. Their Caesar salad is always really good. I also, I don't think I see it right now, but I like getting their Thai, oh, they do have it. Their peanut noodle salad is pretty good. I might grab this actually, this one's really good. And then one more, their lemon chicken arugula salad is really really good i actually really like this dressing this red pepper dressing i used to eat this weekly when i worked over in hollywood a couple years ago but this is very very good another honorable mention is this mediterranean style orzo pasta salad this one is so yummy i love this one and then also their soups are really good i remember i used to always grab these when I used to work late in the office, so the chicken, lentil, tomato, feta, and clam chowder all are really, really good. They also have these pre-made pizza doughs, so you can freeze these. We used to do that a lot when we did pizza nights more often. I would freeze these, defrost them, and then just roll them out and throw them in the oven with whatever toppings you wanted. So I know here they have like some bread sauce, some pesto, so you could really create a whole Trader Joe's dinner situation. But yeah. Love shopping here. This is everyone's favorite garlic sauce. Have to get this. This tzatziki is really good with their, um, what is it called? Like their little chicken samosas, like the Indian ones, so good. 
And then the spinach and Greek yogurt dip is really nice. They also have their chunky guacamole with Greek yogurt. It's also a good option if you want more protein with your dip. Ooh, they have like a truffle mousse pate. I tried pate for the first time over the last weekend in Napa at Domingue Carnero. So I had a pate plate and it actually tasted really good. I don't think I'm gonna get it just for like a random weekend, maybe when I'm entertaining or something, but I would have, you know, looked over this before, but now it intrigues me. But has anyone else tried this? Is it good? Let me know. Before, I would definitely grab one of these raviolis, like this mushroom one always reminds me of Bella Swan when she eats mushroom ravioli when like the first date she had with Edward basically. That always reminds me of this, but I like having these raviolis and just throwing them in the freezer and it's such an easy meal idea but i'm actually working on sharing that like homemade pasta recipe that i like shared you guys on stories so look out for that blog post because i think i'm gonna show you guys how to make it so that you guys can have like your own frozen raviolis but they basically look like this like the circular ones but they just had like a goat cheese steak filling but yeah i'll show you guys how to make your own at home but if you guys want the pre-made version, Trader Joe's has so many pre-made pastas and they're all really yummy. Like look how cute these tri-colored mini gnocchi are. These are so cute. This egg fettuccine pasta is intriguing me. It's gluten-free, which I don't care about, but I feel like any like egg noodle or eggy pasta always has good texture. So it kind of makes me want to try it, but I don't want to spend too much money on things that I could make at home, so like maybe I'll just try making fettuccine at home. But this looks fun for like a date night. But yeah, what are some of your guys' favorite dips? Because I know Trader Joe's is like known for their dips, like all their hummuses and like all of this stuff. So what's your guys' favorite? This was gone the last time I came, so I'm so glad they have more in stock. This coconut creamer is so good. Add it to like juices or lemonades. Like I love adding coconut creamer to my peak lemonade or regular lemonade. It's so good. I tried the coconut and almond creamer, but I didn't realize it's vanilla, so it kind of threw off the flavor, but I love this coconut creamer for lemonades. And then this oat one is great with like tea for like a milk tea, bubble tea vibe, but my go-to has been this coconut creamer lately. Ah, uh, the infamous frozen section. There's so many good things here. So many good pre-made, like rice options. I've been like getting this fried rice for some weeknight dinners. Always have to get like one of these chicken samosas and their dumplings are always really good. So their gyozas are really good. I like getting their pork gyozas. I always have to pick up a couple of these as well. Like we always need at least two of these, so these are really good. sunny day which I'm so excited about because it's been so rainy lately but I think we're gonna have like a good bit of sunny weather so hello from wherever you are I decided to take a little walk slash hike this morning because it was such a pretty day and 
I'm such a homebody that I just figured like, you know what, I need to get out of the house. So um, Wes is working right now, he's opening. So while he's out, I figured let me just enjoy the day and go hiking. So I'm just at my favorite little spot in um, Palos Verdes, um, like the Malaga Cove area. So also please excuse the noise in the background. There's like obviously cars and stuff driving around, but I wanted to show you guys my outfit real quick before we head on to our hike. So I'm basically, there's a loud car passing by, um, but basically I'm head to toe in Fabletics. I have this Fabletics tank on with these Fabletics um, leggings. The leggings actually came in a matching set, but I'm wearing them on their own, which is something that I love about Fabletics. They have really pretty sets, but then obviously you could wear them mixed and matched. For shoes, I am wearing my Shoe Dazzle lace-up sneakers. Um, I have my Aura Ring on on my right hand. My Dareth Colburn Designs Blake CZ Stud. These are great for like every day. Um, obviously, I'm wearing them around to like go hiking. Um, these are like my everyday earring that I wear. These studs are minimal enough, but classic and so chic. You can wear them every single day, but they're nice enough for special events as well so this is basically my outfit for the hike i will link everything down in the description box for you guys as usual but for now let's go and enjoy our hike So this is just a little trail off of the Malibu Cove Center. I'm gonna try to find a shady spot. Um, but yeah, this is just a trail off of the Malibu Cove, like little shopping plaza, and like a little fountain area. But yeah, it's one of my favorite local trails to come to. It's just, it feels like you're not in LA, or you're not in like the city, but you definitely are. <laughs> back there that's where like I parked and stuff but here is where we are headed so let's go Look how gorgeous the view is today so pretty such a pretty trail it's really nice you get like the feel of the trail like mountainy vibes with like this coastal vibe here but it's so pretty it's one of my favorite spots but yeah I think I've hiked enough for today I'm just gonna maybe walk a little bit more and then head back because I think Wes is gonna come home within the next couple hours I'm gonna start dinner but yeah just thought I'd show you guys this pretty little trail Oh, look how cute this is. I have a little, what does it say? Like a cute little community library thing. It's so cute. Take a bug, return a bug. I might bring a bug next time. So cute. And by this trail here, by the water. So pretty. 